Uh, then you went through the, the Cherry era, remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now look at your resume now, there's like not even many people who come close to your resume. Right, what does right. that say about you about Sephardi? You know, when you're doing something good, they always got something bad to say. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how it was at that point in my career, because I was the underdog, like, fighting Amir Khan, and I was the underdog fighting Batiste, and I was beating everybody. And then I take, I, I came off fighting six straight world champions, and then I fought Ross Salco, and then I got called a cherry picker. But if any other fighter did it, it would have been cool. But, you know, at the end of the day, I did what I love to do. I fight the best, because I believe I can beat them. And that's why I'm here today. I'm still standing. Danny, a fight that just happened a couple weeks ago, Ortiz and Bochuk, you know, there was a con there's controversy about the decision. Just wanted your thoughts on it. It happened at 154, a division you could potentially fight in again. How did you see that fight? Uh, that was a tough fight. It could have been a draw. It, it could have been a draw only because the other guy scored two knockdowns. Um, Ortiz was, I think he made the fight a lot harder than he could have made it because he was throwing everything hard and fast. He wasn't really like taking his time. He was really just trying to get him out of there. And I think um, he kind of tired himself out. And that's why Bullcheck was able to stay in the fight. And they had some big punches. But it was a, it was a hell of a fight. I had it a draw.